Hey, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Robert Newman, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about the real estate lead conversion trends uh, 21, 2021 versus 2022. So first of all, let me say that this particular uh, case study is based on real estate websites. So I'm talking about digital lead conversion that is that is more focused on uh, organic marketing, but honestly can drift into all types of marketing in general that affect real estate. So for you as a real estate agent, a digital lead conversion is, let's just say that you've been spending money with Zillow or realtor.com and you used to get 20 leads and now you might be getting 10 and you might be wondering, is this uh, a problem in my, my marketplace? Is this a problem with the industry at large? Is it a problem because interest rates are going up? So I'm going to try to demystify that a little bit. And the way that I'm demystifying that, the reason that I feel like I'm qualified to demystify that, is that uh, as a founder of my own real estate web marketing company, I have access to two or 300 real estate websites uh, as a consultant, a person who has the, the great privilege and fortune to consult even with my own competitors, most of which have me an, under an NDA. So I'm not going to mention any by name. I'm just going to simply say that of the top 10 real estate marketing companies out there that are building websites, that three or four of them, I have, I have traded information with the leaders of those companies to, to use as part of the data that I'm giving you for this video. If I had to guess, I would say overall, all of us combined have access to somewhere around 20 or 30,000 real estate websites, which is uh, a big number considering the fact that there's probably half a million or so live real estate websites in the US. So let's just say that the data sampling that I'm taking might be somewhere around uh, 5% of the real estate market to try to be to try, try to be fair, maybe 10% if you're going to be generous, but let's just say I'm, I'm underestimating or my numbers are wrong. So I'm taking a data sampling of about 5% uh, in order to share the following information with you. So uh, first of all, um, what I'm going to do is the comparison I'm going to do is 2021 versus 2022. So most of you probably are aware enough or can intuit the fact that the real estate market has changed, right? In 2021, we had uh, interest rates that were 1%. I think they're 3 to 5% right now. So interest rates have gone up uh, a great deal. Um, lending practices aren't quite as friendly as they were in 2021. Um, there are market conditions that relate to the pandemic, to real estate inventory. There's a lot of factors that are all culminating into you, the real estate agent or broker, seeing a dramatic difference in the number of leads that you're getting through almost any digital source. Okay, because some of the people that I've talked to, I've also talked to individual agents and brokers. So I haven't just talked to the leaders of other marketing companies. I've also talked to uh, agents and brokers, and I've probably had over the last year, I've probably had a few hundred of those conversations. Uh, some of them are with uh, small, like very small independent realtors in very definitive marketplaces, and also big team leaders that span, you know, multiple states in terms of their, you know, their operations. So I've gotten my data from many different sources, boots on the ground, um, talking to other leaders, and a couple of blog posts here and there that other people like me have written to try to explain what is happening in the real estate market. So without any further ado, um, the test case that I'm going to use in this case is I'm going to use one of my own client's real estate websites uh, that long ago I got permission to use them as a case study every now and again. I'm going to blank out some of the data so that uh, you can't necessarily see it. But in 2022, um, a very focused, specialized real estate operation that, that is a leader in their particular category. So it's, it's golf course country club homes. And we for a very long time have ranked for 30 or 40, and when I say ranked, we're like on the first page of Google for some of their, uh, the most prestigious clubs that, that are in their location. 
that ranking with their project uh, a year ago uh, in in the month of May yielded them about 40 good leads. Okay, right now in 2022, in the same month, that number is more like uh, 15. So the decrease has been over 50%. They've had a 50% reduction in the amount of leads that they've that they've acquired. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'll show you the dates, but I probably will blank out the the names here. But you can see here this is this May, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. This is this is it. This is their total total amount of leads. And going back to the same time last year in May. Just you can just you're gonna have to trust my count, but it's like we're going down, we're going down, we're going down. You can see the date is 2021, and then we go up. And you can see the date is is 2021. You can see that the number is is much more definitive. So for all of you out there that are having challenges with the lead, like lead generation right now, the point of this video is to explain to you that it's universal, that there is no magic bullet that is giving people the same kind of production that they were experiencing for lead generation that they were experiencing 21 to 2022. Hopefully what is being made clear to you is that my view and the supporting data from many of the people that I've talked to is that the reduction, the dramatic nature of the reduction is probably what's surprising some of you, maybe even experienced marketers in the space where you're sitting here going, yeah, but Robert, we're seeing a dramatic decline, you know, 50%, 60%. This example that I'm giving you is somebody who is a clear leader in a niche. And um, usually niches are more resilient than other types of digital marketing, such as realtor.com or Zillow.com. So your $1,800 or your $6,000 or whatever you spent on Zillow might have been yielding you 20, 30 leads. And now you may be getting five and wondering if that kind of drop is warranted or if there's something wrong with Zillow. And the answer to that, that is there's nothing wrong with Zillow. What you are probably seeing is a industry wide drop. And while you can move your budget around and maybe you should move your budget around, you are going to have to understand that wherever you move it to, there's going to be different levels of resistance to you getting the same results that you got just a year ago. If anybody has any questions, you can drop them in the comments of the video. I appreciate you uh, tuning into the channel, and I'll see you the next time. Oh, uh, do me a favor. If you, uh, if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel because I'll be doing... Uh, real estate search trends and a number of other big broad categoric uh, real estate videos uh, fairly soon.